what is going on my name is mark gaming and welcome back to another video today i'm going to be talking about critical ops again i made a rant video uh, a month or two back uh, and it talked about the issues of critical ops and what i think could be improved and it wasn't a hate video again it was more of a suggestions video on what i think the game could use to be improved and to have you know more people play it um but i thought i made some pretty good points um, and the developers did respond, which was awesome, and I really do appreciate uh, that the community manager did respond. I mean, that was really cool. I love it how they're interacting with us, uh, and props to them. And again, this isn't, you know, ranting on the developers and telling them that they suck. This is me trying to express, uh, in my opinion, of course, what the priorities of Critical Ops should be at the moment. Uh, and today is lag, um, because lag is one of the biggest issues I'm facing right now. And I know, I believe, Vilk has made a video on this, aka Wolf, uh, about rubber banding, which is exactly what I've been experiencing lately in Critical Ops. Uh, if you don't know what rubber banding is, it's basically what it entails. It's when you rubber band and when you go back and forth and back and forth uh, because of lag. Now, mainly this issue is caused by high ping and bad servers. Um, and servers right now, I believe, are based off of players' devices and internet, so I'm not sure if it's the server's fault, uh, because if someone has really good internet, then this shouldn't be happening. And right now, I have 30 ping, and I am experiencing some rubber banding, um, and obviously because of my luck, you guys aren't seeing major rubber banding, but I assure you, uh, that I was experiencing rubber banding. Um, but again, it's it's more of an on and off thing. And the problem with it is that it's unpredictable. So you don't know whether or not you're going to have rubber banding, uh, which is not good in a competitive game. Now, again, right now, this isn't in like full release. OK, so take everything I say with a grain of salt, because this aim, this all may be fixed in like, you know, the snap of fingers. Uh, so, you know, again, we don't know anything of like uh, whether or not this can be fixed or will be fixed. Um, but I, again, it's I think it's something that should be given priority uh, because lag is a big part of games. And obviously, if you're lagging, you can't play the game. Um, but yeah, besides gun fixing and all that stuff, lag is, you know, obviously, as I said a million times, is a big part of games. Uh, and what I'm trying to say is that as this game is in beta, more and more people are playing because more and more people have access to it. And, you know, if that keeps occurring, then again, we're going to have a bigger player base, a bigger community, which is awesome. And that's what this game needs. But if people are going to be leaving because they're having too much lag, then that's not a good thing. We need people to stay. Uh, so again, I think lag should be given the priority right now. It's more specifically the rubber banding. I think if somebody has a high ping, then it makes sense for them to have lag. But right now, I'm at a 44 ping, and I'm having some issues. Uh, obviously, they're not, you know, too big on screen. Like, you guys can't notice it a lot. But, you know, when I, obviously when I stop recording, it'll happen. Um, but yeah, it's just a lot of that stuff. Uh, as far as I know, I think uh, hit detection is okay at the moment. Uh, that really relates to ping. The lower the ping, the better. Um, but yeah, I think it's just the rubber banding that is the worst. Um, in terms of gun balancing, I think everything right now is okay. I think the SG should be tweaked a bit to have maybe a little more recoil, a little more kick. Uh, because there's no reason to go over it uh, or to pay for it um, in, in, instead of the AK. I think the AK is fine. Um, so I think that the either the AK or the SG need to have more kick. Uh, I think the uh, AK should have more kick because it's a bit cheaper. Uh, but again, this is all up to the community, and it's not just what I think. Uh, I'm not like everybody else, so I can't say. Usually I spray more than I tap, so it all just depends on people's play styles. Um, but yeah, in terms of you know what I think, uh, the priority should be uh, first is lag, second is gun balancing, and third is uh, map balancing. And in terms of map balancing, that's why I put it third, because there's not much to say. Maps are really, really hard once you put them out to edit. I mean, not in terms of actually editing it, but, you know, getting players feedback and actually putting it into the game uh, is decently hard as, you know, as what I think I know. Uh but again, it's also because little things can make big effects. So let's say you place a wall like five feet forward. It can take a big effect, you know, on how you throw your flashbangs and things like that. So that's why I put it third because I don't think it's that bad right now. But I think gun balancing and lag is the biggest priority. And the only way that I can really see lag permanently 
you know being solved is dedicated servers and i know that uh critical force is doesn't have the biggest budget in the world so i don't suggest uh having dedicated servers i mean maybe they do right now i'm not too sure i think it's uh device based so if you create a server it's based off your device um which also brings a host of new issues which is i think if you guys ever played call of duty you know the issue of host of being host which means you have a one millisecond ping uh, which pretty much means that you see everything before everybody else sees anything, which I know doesn't really make sense, but you have a huge advantage. Uh, and I think that's, you know, one of uh, an issue that could come up with ha with being player service, which I think is right now. Uh, but again, I'm not too sure. I don't know at the moment. Um, but yeah, so again, lag should be the first priority for the developers right now. And I think overall, the premium feel if that makes sense so before things like skins and uh, all that sort of stuff i feel like the game should be the priority not the game uh you know having bloated features and things like that i think that's what ruins most games is they overlook the most basic features and functions of the game uh so yeah i i really hope that the developers are going on the right path here and i'm sure they are because the game right now is awesome there's a lot of players playing uh i don't see too many players complaining right now uh which is good and there's a a, a healthy player base um so i again i just think lag should be improved um or at least put a big priority on um but yeah that's all i really have to say for this video i know i went on for a while uh, but again, the biggest message of this video, at least to the developers, is uh, that lag should be a priority, uh, or at least fixing lag, not making more lag. Um, but yeah, overall, the game smoothness should be a priority because rubber banding is a big issue, um, especially when playing competitively. Uh, and also, I just want to briefly touch before I end the video on a competitive league. So like in Counter-Strike, how they have, you know, global elite, silver, gold. Uh, all that sort of stuff. I think that should be in the game. Now, obviously, because it's a beta, I think that's why it's not in at the moment. But I definitely think something like that could definitely make Critical Ops a more popular game. Because right now, it's just you join a game and you play. You know, there's no uh, consequences if you lose or win. Obviously, you have stats, but stats, again, don't, you know, mean anything or everything. Um, but yeah, so anyway, that's about it for this video. Uh, please comment below your opinion. Uh, opinions are what drive the community and dr what drive the developers. Uh, so again, please talk and, and share your thoughts and, and feedback because, again, that's what shapes the game. The more players who give feedback, the better the game will be. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.